we have 19th century water laws, 20th century technologies, and 21st century problems. But when you kind of look at all of those together, layered on top, with climate change, uh, we have a serious problem when it comes to how we manage both our water supplies, as well as how we deal with wastewater. What climate change does, particularly as it pertains to water, is it makes everything more extreme. The dries are drier, the wets are wetter, storms are more powerful. From coast to coast, people are fleeing flames, wind and water. Due to the impacts of climate change, we're seeing something called aridification, which is a fundamental change in the climate. Broadly in the American West, we're really seeing not a routine drought, we're seeing a persistent drought, a prolonged drought. Uh, a lot of people like to say the new normal. So there's less surface water available for agriculture, for potable water, for manufacturing. The so-called mega drought is now in its 23rd year. Then that white ribbon you can see on the hills over there behind me, that's the old water line. Low water levels limiting the ability of you know barges to traverse the Mississippi in certain places. The Mississippi River is at historically low levels, which could impact the food supply and our wallets. We're seeing extreme weather events on the east coast of the U.S. that are overwhelming water utilities and communities, uh, resulting in uh, greater water pollution and damage to infrastructure.